All right, it's Labor Day, and uh, I got nothing better to do. I have a lot of guys on HVAC Talk, and also uh, at school and other uh, events I do. They ask me a lot of questions about York or Johns Controls, UPG, Coleman, basically concerning the simplicity controls and simplicity software, or what they call a simplicity PC. Before we get into the simplicity PC software, we got to basically talk about the evolution of uh, of the boards so we know which boards we can utilize the software on, which boards we can't, where things came from, and where they've gone. So we're going to start out with the earliest boards. I don't really have uh, in my collection of boards, I don't have uh, the lockout board, but this was the original board. Basically, it was a York JCI Source 1 lockout board. It would look at all the pressure switches, limit switches, everything part of the control network. And if during the cooling process, and if there's a, something opened or there was a failure, it would lock it out. But this is the type of board to say, well, sorry you're locked out, but you figure out why. And it's frustrating. It's kind of like the carrier, you know, CLO or compressor lockout boards. The newer versions, the larger versions were just built into the board. Basically, if something tripped, it was your job to figure out what it was. It didn't tell you what it was. So you'd sometimes spend 10, 20 hours aggravated, returning day after day, looking for nuisance trips. And New York decided to do something. They decided to create what they called the simplify. To take this board, simplify it, and make one board to rule them all. And that's what they decided to call the simplicity board. Right here, this is what they call the Simplicity Light, L-I-T-E. It's a three-button controller. The beige ones were the first generation. I do not have a second generation green, but you would see those, you know, stuff lower down into on some of the sunlight and other uh, rooftop units. You'll see a greener green board. But the three-button one is your light. This evolved into the four-button, which is your 1A. Simplicity Light, Simplicity 1A. Now with the Simplicity 1A board, it allowed them to expand. If you notice, this only allows up to two-stage heat, two-stage cool. Economization coming out the top. They wanted to be able to expand this board, and during the expansion process, let's see if I can find it. So there's your 1A board. I'll, they brought in the four-stage expansion and obviously uh, the economization expansion board. So you may come across a rooftop unit that has the, the 1A board, but you also notice you'll have expansion board on your larger rooftop units that have up to four stages of cooling and more stages of heat. That's what this expansion board's for. Also, it gave possibility for uh, operating a VAV off a of freak drive, so you get variable air volume. So these were expansion boards. As the expansion boards grew, we kind of came into, let me move into here. Give me a second. On your large tonnage, what we call the Millennium, the Millennium boards, and you can tell them by the four push buttons and the LED screen, the Millennium board took all those expansion boards into one. So you didn't have a grunt load of boards, now you can have one board controlling them all. So again, we have the old lockout board, which is a turd early beige three button light board became a green board but still had three buttons this evolved into the four button 1a board the 1a board has a bunch of expansion uh, boards you can add to this in order to meet the needs of the uh, different rooftop units but also in the large millennium units 25 tons 30 40 sometimes up in the 50 tonners they were using the millennium or the elite board again four buttons with an LED output but there's one thing that the, the light, the 1A, and the Millennium all have in common. Is that we can plug into these boards and use the Simplicity PC software to get into the board and make the necessary adjustments to prioritize that piece of equipment for the building that it's on. And this is what I'm going to show you is how to get into these boards utilizing the software and a connector. Now on each of these boards you're going to notice 
they have either a manual where we can screw in three wires. This allows daisy chaining from one board to the next, or also has a Molex three pin port. On the Millenniums, on the big boards, they're right here. If you're daisy chaining, there's your, your physical wire input. So you can tie wire to there, daisy chain to another Millennium board, to another Millennium board, up to 32 boards. Again, on the light board, it's here. And on our 1A boards, it's right here. And again, daisy chain possibility. One thing to keep in mind, depending on the version of the software, it's not gonna tell you. Of course, these early boards will have an early version of software. These will have much newer versions of software. Depending on the version of software, you cannot daisy chain, for example, a light board to a 1A board. So when we plug into this with our Simplicity PC software, if we're daisy chained to proper versions of boards, when we s plug in, we should be able to see each of the boards so we could just jump from one board to the next and never have problems. So in the case here, we're gonna show you how to plug in the software you need to check out these boards and uh, we'll go from there.